Hey, this is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Home Team. Going over with the market update for the week of June 27th, 2022. So uh, one of the big things that we saw was more continued growth of inventory. But what's going to be really interesting and ultimately going to be the story for next week is that this week and the week after the 4th of July really cannibalized the week of the 4th of July. In other words, there's not going to be that much going on next week. You're going to see a drastic decrease in the amount of inventory, and you're also going to see some pretty drastic decreases in in the amount of properties that go under agreement. Now, I promise you in the long term, it's gonna be made up for it because the week after you're gonna see a huge, huge, huge increase uh, in inventory levels um, up and above. So you're gonna see a little dip, but it's the 4th of July holiday weekend. So to that point, let's get on moving with single families. We saw, we now have as of Monday, 5,426 single family homes currently for sale in the state of Massachusetts. Now week over week, this is a 9.46% increase in the amount of single families that are available to buyers. So that's pretty significant growth when in just one week, we saw nearly a 10% increase in the amount of inventory. And for this to happen, we had 1,796 six new single family homes listed on the market. Um, with that, 1,338 single families went under agreement, so we did not absorb more than came on the market. I will say, however, this was a 7.8% increase over last week's amount of properties that went under agreement. And also, of a bunch of the offers that I put in on, I think it's something to be said. One offer had 10 uh, offer situation of 10 offers, another one had nine, another one had five. So there were a lot of multi offer situations this weekend for, for our own specific buyers that, that we put offers in on. And, and I think that's really telling, right? The properties that are priced right in good locations, there's still some pretty decent demand out there. Um, with that, 1,191 single family homes went under agreement for a median price of 615,000. Um, and our months of inventory, and it's months of inventory, that's how we track how healthy of a market it is, or I shouldn't say healthy, if, whether it's a seller's market, equal market, or buyer's market is really what it is. So zero to five months is what we consider a, a seller's market. Five to seven months is that equal market where neither buy, uh, buyer nor seller have pricing power. And then seven months or more is what is considered a buyer's market. So as of right now, we have 1.68 months worth of inventory, which would signal it's still a very strong seller's market. I will say this, that in just this week, uh, inventory levels, the months of inventory levels increased by 0.13. So it's been going up drastically. This is also a lagging indicator. In other words, it's taking the statistics of properties that have sold in the last four months, the amount of properties that have sold in the last four months, hence why it's lagging, not necessarily to today's, what we're seeing today, which, um, well, until this week was a decrease in the amount of properties going under agreement. So let's move on to the condo market, where there are currently 2,850 condos that are currently for sale in the whole entire state of Massachusetts. This is a 5.9% increase week over week. Um, this week, we saw 715 newly listed condos come on the market, with 543 of them going under agreement. And this was actually a 17 point, oh, close to 17.8% increase week over week in the amount of condos that actually went under agreement. So a really healthy, um, a big uptick, if you will. Uh, we saw 419 condos sell uh, this week with an average, or excuse me, a median price of 570,000. And then that months of inventory uh, number for condos, which we just talked about for single families, uh, was 1.55 months worth of inventory on the market. And this is a 0.1 month worth of increase just week over week. Um, so, you know, it's, it's been interesting. We, we saw a huge decrease in the amount of inventory. Um, uh, we're going to see that huge decrease in the amount of inventory and then a decrease in the amount of under agreements, like I was saying early, coming into this week that we're about to go in for the 4th of July. Um, so next week, it's going to be really weird when I when I ultimately do this. It's, it's all to be expected that both those are going to be way down. That's just going to be an outlier, and it's because of the holidays. Um, and ultimately, it's all going to be made up for in about two weeks where we're going to see even a lot more inventory come on the market. So uh, think of it this way. If you were a seller and you were thinking about selling your house and you wanted to get your house on the market, we'd actually most likely talk about holding your house from this week and carry you over to next week, or we would have really rushed to get it on the market just last week in, in this week of June 27th. And, and the reason why is because people are going on vacation. They're going to enjoy themselves. They do not want to look at houses um, 
on the 4th of July weekend. Um, so that's kind of what we have going. Um, I will say that I have been the in the theory of, hey, maybe the Fed can stop lowering rates sooner rather than later. Michael Berry, who uh, he's a guy... Uh, he, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Big Short. Um, he's just a, a couple IQ points higher than me, so he's a really smart guy. Um, you know, he came out uh, today or yesterday, and, and he believes that um, we're going to actually start seeing drastic decreases in prices, and therefore the Fed is actually going to turn around their monetary policy. Um, he's a really, really, really smart man. He knows a heck of a lot more than me. But from my anecdotal evidence of just, you know, being in the marketplace and being in the housing market where I saw 10 offers, nine offers, five offers, right? These, these crazy offer situations, even as these interest rates have ticked up, it hasn't really drastically decreased the demand like the federal reserve was hoping for. Um, so in my opinion, I'm going to disagree with Michael Berry, and I'm probably going to say that interest rates, uh, they're going to continue to go up and up and up. And just keep in mind that if you were to buy a house today and lock in at today's rates, which, by the way, also dip down into the high fives again. Um, but if you were to buy today and lock in that rate in order to have the same monthly mortgage payment that you have today, you would need prices to go down 16%. It's just, it, it's not going to happen, at least in our Boston metro market. Um, there are some other markets where you have this really high institutional investor uh, purchasing. I, I have theories about those markets and what's going to happen there, but it's not my market. So I'm not going to talk about it. This is specifically for Massachusetts. I think all in all, we continue to be a really healthy market. Um, I foresee that if they continue to increase interest rates, we're still going to have um, good demand from buyer side, buyer side of the pool, I should say. Um, the big, obviously, you know, question mark is is the economy and unemployment, and and that those are things that we're ultimately going to continue to keep uh, keep track of, and, and I'm going to keep learning about and keep reporting to you. So that is the market update for June 27th of 2022. If you have any questions about the current market conditions um, or your specific real estate goals and situations, how all of this playing out might uh, maybe it's a buying opportunity for you maybe you know you, you're you're looking to uh, retire in the next two years and move down to Florida does it make sense for you to ultimately take advantage of the market today right those are just some situations that's personal to you so um, if you have any of those questions if you have any of those specific situations give me a call uh, best number to reach me at is 617-480-2600 um, or you can shoot me an email at jeff at boston2.com thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next week